Hi everyone, Erica here from Crafty Geek Enterprises. This will be my first video of many. I've decided to teach myself 3D modeling and I'm using Autodesk's software 123D Design. It's a free software you can download on their website, a link to which will be in the description of this video. This will be the first of many videos, some of which will be covering me teaching myself 3D modeling, others will be drawing, sculpting, fabricating, you name it, I do it. So follow along with me on this journey and uh, let's see what we can learn together. Today's video, I'm going to be 3D modeling a screwdriver. I watched several videos online, poked around in the software for a bit, and I think I've come up with something pretty good. So let's take a look at and see what I've done. I began this project by creating a circle and then replicating a smaller sketch of a circle around the perimeter. That way I can extrude this into a custom 3D object. This star-like cylinder will become the base of the handle for my screwdriver. Now, screwdrivers usually have a little round spot on the handle so that while turning the screwdriver, it's a little easier on your hands. So I decided to add a little hemisphere or a dome to the end of mine to create that little knob, that little rounded portion of the screwdriver. And I use the snap tool to find the center. That way I don't have to keep nudging it left and right and backwards and forwards. It finds the center automatically. Now I'm rotating the whole thing and I'm going to get rid of these sketches so that I can work easier on the rest of my project and actually be able to see what I'm doing. Next I insert a circle sketch and extrude the circle into the handle creating a little divot. Yeah, pretty cool. All right. Next, I'm putting a cylinder in here. Now, why a cylinder? You don't. You just created a special cylinder. Well, think about it. The rod part of a screwdriver is basically just a really long, skinny cylinder. So, that's what I'm doing. All right created a cylinder to create the shaft of my screwdriver and now I'm going to recess that shaft into the handle just like a real screwdriver. Now being that it's one of my first times 3D modeling, I'm going to choose to make a flathead screwdriver rather than a Phillips. Phillips is a little more of a complicated design. Not quite ready for that just yet, so I'm going to go with a flathead. I'm using a polyline to draw out the shape of the head of my screwdriver. Once that's complete, I can then extrude that shape into a 3D object. Now, screwdriver heads aren't just big chunks of metal at the end of rods. They're actually tapered so that the point of the screwdriver can fit into the channel of the screw. So I'm going to create a bevel to my um, screwdriver by tweaking the edges of my object and moving them inwards, creating a nice angle. And I'll do that to both of them so that it's a bevel, kind of like a chisel. Once the head of my screwdriver is complete, I'll rotate it around so that I can access the base a little more easily. And I'll use the snap tool yet again to snap it to the end of the shaft. And that completes 
my screwdriver. Yay! Now all of these little pieces, the hemisphere, the star-like cylinder, the shaft, the head, they're all individual parts. So the rest of this video is me trying to figure out how to mesh or group or combine all these parts into being one solid object. And it took me a little while because it's not just like you select the thing and you say combine. You actually have to, you know, select combine and then, you know, click each individual piece and then hit enter and then it combines it. So it took a little uh, putzing around to figure out how to do that correctly, but I, I managed it in the end. <laughs> so there's my completed screwdriver. Not bad for a first attempt. After uh, playing around in the software a little while, I think I'm going to like this quite a bit. If you like this video, please subscribe, like it, and uh, check back next week. I'll probably have another video modeling something different, maybe another tool. Um, you can also.